Hey guys, I'm super excited to be behind the scenes and to pull back the, the curtain and kind of unveil really how to build your media empire. And you know, for where we are in the world right now, and it's not so much that these are uncertain times, as much as it is kind of, you know, at the end of the day, the number one thing that a number of folks are looking to do right now is they're looking to say, how can I get started? How can I build my media empire? How can I reach more people? Now, if you want to know what I'm doing as you're watching me right now and you're behind the scenes, I'm getting everything set up. So I thought I'd let y'all be behind the scenes for about a minute or two Guys, while I really kind of get excited going, which is kind of weird because normally when I'm getting things going, you're not behind the scenes. I'm kind of by myself if excited to like be that. behind uh, now, if you want to know what i'm doing y'all behind as you're the scenes watching me right now uh, you're this here, behind the scenes leave I'm now um do me a favor because i don't have the mic on look right below the video and just let me know if you can hear me just let me know if you can hear me because you are in for the treat of treats because we're going to have the one discussion around something that i've never done before <laughs> But I've been asked to do, and that is really to talk about how do you build a seven-figure media empire? And think about that. If you were to build one, where would you start? Like, what would be the starting point? Where would you go? And then more importantly, at the end of the day, how do we kind of share and how do we break down, if I could say it like that, let me hit this here. How do we break down the five-step formula? So I'm here, you're behind the scenes. Uh, I'm gonna show you some cool, nifty stuff that we do so you can learn how to do it. And I'll also show you how to make money, by the way, if that's okay. So for those folks that are just tuning in and you're ready to build your seven-figure media empire, do me a favor, by the way, do me a favor, by the way, hit, hit the share button. Pay this message forward, and just and when you pay the message for it, just write these words down. Write these words down. Just write down: serve, serve, give, and then offer a solution. Just put serve, serve, give, serve, serve, give, and that's what we're going to focus on today. That's what we're going to focus on doing our time that you and I have together. And I'm super excited about it because the questions asked, Shay, what is the five-step formula? to truly launching and monetizing your online show in less than 30 days. Now, can, can, I, can I share with you guys? You might be wondering, Shay, how are you doing this? Like, can you just show it to us? Sure. So right now, I kind of have my iPad up, as you can see, by the way, so I'm behind the scenes. And I have this whiteboard so that when I want to write something on it, I can just kind of click on the whiteboard. And it's just something that's plugged into my laptop. And it, it really allows me to then be able to write. So if I said seven figure media empire. Now I'm gonna get some real cool stuff in a second, but I'm behind the scenes, so we're just getting really going, by the way, everyone. And so I wanted you to see that I'm really using an iPad, right? And then now that I'm back, kind of showing you something else that allows me to share a PowerPoint while at the same time, while at the same time, be able to step back and also go back over here and share you with me. Isn't that kind of cool? Now, don't worry. I got a whole presentation. I'm going to share with you how to make money. I'm going to share with you the 11 ways to monetize it. But first, let me just give you something right out the gate. Right out the gate. Uh, can you guys show them that? Let's show them that here. Okay, okay. Let's show it to them. So right now, we have a PowerPoint. And then we have an iPad. Now, some of you have an iPad. And you always want to know, Shay, what camera are you using? Well, it's a Logitech C920 a Logitech C920, that's the camera that I use. But then some of you want to know, hey, Shay, how are you writing on a board while you're talking? Because I do master classes and I need to do something really cool like that. And it has an eraser to it. And you can just go to whiteboards. I think that's the name of this. It's just whiteboards for iPad. I'm, I'm being lazy now, but I can hit this button here. And this is just an iPad. I'm sure you can use anything, by the way. I'm just an iPad guy. And then I'm going over here, and here's where I can show my PowerPoint, which is like super cool. And I know some of you like that kind of stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, I like it too. And then I'm also show you how you can have your own opening for your shows. Let me show you, share you something really, really cool. This is a new opening. First time I ever revealed this. This is the new logo, the new look. Take a look at this, and I'm going to go behind the scenes, and let's talk about how to make money doing this. Let's show this to them if we can real quick.
Go ahead, show it to them, seriously. It doesn't matter if they see me, it's okay. what I need right there. I need something like that when I open my shows. Up. What's up, Everett? Good to see you, my man. What's up, Wayne? What's going on, Charlie? What's happening, uh, Everett? What's going on, Tawana? Rhonda Woods, and so many of you who are tuning in. So I just showed you an animated logo. Now, if you're listening like, oh, man, I need an animated logo, I'm going to share with you how you can do that. We'll hook you up. No worries. Um, but tonight, let's go ahead and get started. Y'all were behind the scenes for a moment. What's up, Sonora? Um, the five-step formula to launch in and monetize your online show in less than 30 days, even if you have no audience. Here's something that I want you to know as I get started. Now, I showed you before, I'm using an iPad, right? I showed you that before, I'm using an iPad. I'm not gonna keep showing you this. I'm using an iPad, I'm, oh, you can't see my screen, doggone it. There we go, I'm using an iPad. Here we go right here. I'm gonna show you the camera that I'm using, which is a Logitech, and I'm just showing some cool stuff so that I can kind of make this a little more interesting for you. So here's what I want you to know. Everyone jot this down. You know, what's up, Floyd Wright? What's up, Brenda? Everyone who has a show or has a podcast, you can look below the video and put the name of your podcast, put the name of your show, and do me a favor, hit the share button, hit the share button when we get started. I'm gonna go to warp speed, but hit the share button. And when you hit that share button, so you can pay it forward to another entrepreneur, someone needs to get their digital footprint going, someone that needs to be in this media world, Write these words, hit the share or watch party and write serve, serve, give. This is the SSG formula. I love the SSG formula, I created it. Serve, serve, and then you give more. So I'm gonna serve you, I'm gonna serve you, and then I'm gonna give you so much value. And at the end, if it's something that you wanna know how to do, I'm gonna give you all the tricks. So I'm not holding anything back from you at all. I'm not gonna do that. What's up, Daryl? Hey, what's going on, Dr. Talisa? Thanks for joining out there. So. Including a video on a landing page can increase your conversion by 80%. So I was having a conversation with a client. She's like, well, Shay, I don't really like to put video on there. I showed her the stat. You know what she did? She immediately on her webinar page, she put a video on there. You know what she got? More folks that registered. Now, I can't take credit for it because it's not a new idea. But here's what I do know. Business, businesses using video grow their company revenue 49% faster than those folks that don't. So if you're out there right now and you've been holding back and saying, I don't know if I wanna do this, Shay, I don't know if I wanna do this, look, now's the time. I'm gonna walk you by, I'm gonna share with you why. Yep, 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 I'm, y'all yep, yep. don't believe I'm using an iPad? Oh, I'm using an iPad, okay? And I'm using a Logitech C920. I'll give you the lights, I'll give you the software, I'll tell you that in a minute. Um, but businesses using video grow company revenue 49% faster than those that don't. So if growth, is the name of the game someone jot this down in your notes if growth is the name of the game then video is really a smart choice and all the data suggests that video's ability to reach educate inspire and inform jot that in your notes reach educate inspire and inform those i didn't say sell everybody i did not say that and i'm going to give you exactly what we did with the happy entrepreneur show with so many of our clients and I'm gonna share with you all the tools and software and everything that we're using right now um, I want you to write this down reach educate inspire and inform reach educate inspire and inform that's what we're doing that's what we're going to share with you and that's what we're going to do because I know like you know that we're in unprecedented times and you have an opportunity right now to create your media empire. You have an opportunity right now to reach folks like you've never reached them before. What's up, Dana? You have an opportunity to do that. And if these folks keep saying, Shay, why do you say media empire? Because, you know, when I was growing up, one of the things I used to always say was, make sure when you leave this earth and you get your heavenly wings that you leave an insurance policy and money, obviously, and you leave your journal and all your photos well, that was the old way of doing it. Today, when you leave this planet and you get your heavenly wings and you go on up, I want you to leave the insurance policy, yes, check the box, but I also want you to leave your media footprint, your videos, your audios, 
your thoughts, your ideas, your belief. I keep two journals. I keep a written journal and a five minute journal, but then I also keep another journal that's a video journal because I want my sons to be able to see that. So some of you are just doing this for business, I get it, but others of you are doing it for another reason. Now, if you're an entrepreneur or a video creator and you're already doing video, or you're doing live video, let me tell you why you should pay attention. Let me tell you why you should tune in. For the newbie, it is no question. It's a no brainer. You've got to do this or you're going out of business. But for the new person that's out there that's been doing this and you're a veteran, it's time for you to raise your game. It's time for you to stand out from the crowd crowd and it's time for you to generate like instant credibility in your market. One of the things I like about, and I see they're on there, I love about um Eric and Sakisha Heilig, one of the things they're doing is they're out there and they're now building credibility and they're standing out from the crowd. You've got to check out as well Kevin Peck and Dana Peck, or Kevin and Dana Peck, I should say, are doing some amazing things out there. And you know what? It's easier to grow your audience now more than ever. Like when I first started, I had to make sure that I had conference calls. That was like the wave of the future conference calls. That's not lo no longer the case. And, 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 and I get it for some of you, you're thinking that's the case, but it's no longer the case. Now, if you showed up and you wanna know what lights I'm using, what camera I'm using, what software I'm using, what microphone I'm using, if you wanna know the 11 ways, not seven, I'm gonna give you 11 ways to monetize it. I'm gonna do that in a moment, but I also want you to write this down in your notes. Now I told you I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. I told you this is an iPad, right? I have my notes over here, and now I'm gonna talk to you about what our goal is for the day. Now for everyone that's out there listening, our goal, for everyone that's out there watching, do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and write these words. It's time to serve. It's time to serve. Everyone look right below the video and put it's time to serve and, do, and use the hashtag CEO desk. Put it's time to serve hashtag CEO desk. It's time to serve hashtag CEO desk. I told you what the goal was. It's to serve serve and then give more value now i'm showing you so you can see my ipad i'm showing you so you can see the powerpoint i'm showing you so you can walk through and you know exactly what i'm doing and i'm going to share with you how to do that but for some of you your master class it's time to raise it up your webinar it's time to raise it up your, your training videos that you're putting into your your academies it's time to raise it up for others it's time for you to expand outside of your four walls outside of your state, outside of your country, and through the power of these fiber optic lines, together we're going to do it. Let me tell you what our goal is for today, just so we're all clear, so we're all clear out there. For Brianna James, I want to be clear. For Betty Wilson, I want to be clear. For Jacqueline Fulton, what's up? I want to be clear. Peg Duchess, what's up? Patricia Register, and so many of you out there. Our goal, number one, reach current clients. Number two, find new customers. Number three, continue to generate revenue and keep business. Now, if you're out there right now, you want to reach more customers. If you want to share best practice, if you want to educate and inspire and encourage, do me a favor, look below the video. And if you listen to the podcast, I know you can't do this, okay? If you're watching on Apple TV, I know you can't do this, okay? If you're on Amazon Fire or Roku or one of our a sister organization, you can't do this. But for you, hit the share button, and I want you to pay this message forward so we can help someone else. And I want you to write these words down. Write these words down right below the video. I will build my media empire. Write that right below the video, Karis. What's going on, Karis? Safina, what's going on? Jasmine, thanks for joining. Look below the video and write, I will build my media empire. This is your year. This is your time. You know it's important, but now you got to do it. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. I want you to make this declaration. And when you write those words, put hashtag CEO desk. If that's you, and you're not building an empire for yourself, you're building it so you can reach more people. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a lot of fun. We're about to rock and roll. But first, look right below the video and write these words, Victoria Falk. I will build my media empire. I've got a smartphone, iPhone, I've got an Android, I've got an app, iPad, I've got a computer. I will build my media empire. I will create a digital me. This is my gift back to the world. This is what I'm gonna do for someone else. Don't do it for me, don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Do it for someone else. You know why? Because I was talking to someone recently and they said, Shay, I will. Shay, I'm gonna do it. Shay, I meant to do it. And I didn't beat him up, but I just told him to write this 
every single day for seven days. I said, write these words. I will build my media empire. I'm excited because today I had a conversation with a person just today, and they know who they are. They're watching right now, and they launched their podcast. The first episode ain't perfect, but here's what I know. You don't have to get it right sometimes. You just got to get going. Go ahead, and if you're out there right now, you're watching. You're like, Shay, I just want to know the software you're watching. Shay, I just want the checklist of what you're doing. Shay, I just want to know the lights. I just want to know the camera. I just want to know the microphone. I just want to know how in the LL Cool J can I get some slides that look like that, Shay? It's time for me to build my media empire. It's showtime, not just for me, but for someone else. Do me a favor. You might not make it to the end. I might not come back to this. So if you're out there and you just want to get my checklist, do we have that? Do we have that? Can we show them the checklist? Oh, we can? Okay, good, good. You just, you just want to get, but well, that's not it. You just want to get the checklist, and you're watching right now. Go ahead right now and just text the word Media Empire to 202-270-1662. That's my personal cell phone number. I'm doing an audit. I'm doing a review. I wrote someone's video sales script today to help them out. And you're going to get my seven-point media checklist. You're going to get my show playbook in my customized revenue session with me, no cost, no charge, no catch. Now, here's what you gotta do, because I might not come back to this. Text Media Empire, two words, to 202-270-1662. Make sure you include your first name. Make sure you include your last name. Make sure you include your best contact number. Do it when now. Do it when now. Do it when, ha <laughs> ha. Do it now, because it's showtime, and it's time for us to take this thing to an entirely different level. And here's what I know that I know that I know with every fiber in my heart. People want to connect, but you don't have to be perfect. Remember, you have customers that still need you. They need you not to be perfect or for you to be flawless, but for you just to do what you do best. And I remember when I first started working and getting going, everyone was like, Shay, you're screaming. Shay, you're so loud, and I was loud. I might be loud right now. And they said, you talk fast. And I used to get these emails, and they were really nasty emails, and tell me why I shouldn't be on air, and that's okay. It's not about me. I only tell you that to say you're gonna get that. I had a client that someone sent them a note. Of all the people that watched this person for the last four months, she gets one note, and it's like, oh my gosh. And I'm like, hey, look, it's okay. People want you to do better. They want you to do better, you know what? They, I want you to do better as well. So don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. No, no, no. It doesn't have to be pretty. It only matters what the camera sees. Let me back that thing up. Let me, let me, let me share with you. If I was give you another idea, another tool while you're watching right now, you're like, Shay, I like this. Shay, I'm feeling you. Okay, you see this right now, right? You see me. Now, I got good stuff. You see me right now. You're like, Shay, this is great. Look at you. But, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. Uh, this is just a picture. Like, this is my wall, right? And, and this, uh-oh, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna be embarrassed. Hold on, I was trying to show y'all behind the scenes, and now my chair is stuck in the way. <sighs> this was not part of the plan. Hold on one moment, please. <laughs> no, hold on, I'll rip my paper. I'll be, I'll be so embarrassed if my, if my wall has a hole in it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that is an image, right? You can go to iStock and you can get an image or you can get your favorite image. Take a photo if you want. You can print it and you can just put it behind you. Now, if I showed you, it's just behind it. It's just um, dual tape that you can get from CVS. No, seriously. No, I'm being dead serious. Now, now, we can get these done for you and they can look really, really well and all that and help pick them out. But I, so why not use a green screen, Shay? Because a green screen, sometimes we have lights on it. You've got to get the lighting right. And if you're moving, you start going through everything. And, 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 and so the green screen makes it really hard for those that know about chroma key in. And then you've got to have the software. And it's got to be crazy. Look, I'm going to tell you all exactly what I'm doing. Here's the point I want to make. It doesn't have to be pretty. OK, I told you that three times. It only matters what the camera sees. So the camera's seeing this here, and this, this isn't real, by the way. I hate to, wish I could tell you this was real, but see, it's, 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 it's not real, right? But it still looks good here. Um, hopefully, now, don't you guys judge me, okay? I'm not being fake. I, I tried to build a set, so it will look, this is a real table. 
<laughs> this is a real iPad. It has a cord. I don't think you can see the cord. I got to tell you all what cord to get so you can plug your iPad in um, if you want to have your iPad and have a really good presentation. And then you want to use this software called Whiteboard. You can go get the software now. And I love the software because it allows me to make the point that it only matters what the camera sees. Well, that's probably not a good way to do it. But I think it makes the point that I'm trying to make. And it only matters what the camera sees. And if you're out there right now, you're already getting some good stuff. If you're out there saying, dang, Shay, I ain't just going to do that. Whoa, I ain't have to wait for it. No, not at all. We're going to give it to you. Do me a favor. Don't hold it to yourself. Hit the share button. Now, you, you know my big secret right here, obviously. But I got more. I got more. Hit the share button. When we hit the share button, just put serve, serve, give value. Serve, serve, give value. It's my SSG formula. That's why I showed up today. And I, I love this trick because this trick is really cool. Like, like this is like super, super, like, like really, really cool. Okay, let me go back to my presentation. Um, someone do me a favor. If you're getting some good stuff, look right below the video and tell me what you're enjoying most so far. Let's just have some fun. Um, if you got a small space or apartment, I just want you to know something. All you need is a corner. That's all you need. Don't panic. Don't worry. You'll be just fine, okay? So we're not going to panic. Or maybe you got a shared space. And you're like one of my clients who's not going to mention the company they're with. They have a shared office. And they're like, oh, my God, this is crazy. I never knew this man. Oh, my God. Gee, Moniz. Now, don't y'all judge me on my, on my beautiful background. People have sent me letters loving my plant, telling me how beautiful it looks. Now, for those that were here earlier and you saw it, don't give it away. Oh, my gosh. And, and, oh, I got I to gotta fix my, I got to water my plant, put my plant back to you. They, they text me, tell me the plant's got to be right there. Okay, we got that there. We got that there. Um, um, and, and they tell me how great it looks. So, <laughs> don't, I'm not being a phony. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm just trying to say that you can set the stage and it doesn't matter the space, okay? It doesn't matter the space. You don't need a lot of money. Heck, go to Vista Prince for those that were here early. It's only for those that were here early. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you got to go back and watch the video, baby. But, but for those that were here earlier, it doesn't take a lot of money. The Logitech C920, which is the camera that we recommend. Let me go ahead and write that down. I'm going back to my iPad. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, no, that's not my iPad. That's... Well, that's Facebook. Hold on. Doop, doop, doop. Sorry. I've got to make sure I can see what you guys are seeing because if not, it's going to be a problem. Okay. I'm not trying to be cool right now. And I'm just trying to do this while we're doing this. Okay. Can you erase that? There we go. Okay. I want you to get the Logitech C920, which is currently out of stock right now, by the way. This is the camera. Or the other one is the Logitech logitech brio now don't hold it someone make a note below hit the share button okay don't just keep this to yourself by the way don't just keep this to yourself the logitech brio now the reason you want to get these two cameras is that the two cameras are really cool and um the reason they're cool is that they have a glass lens so the reason some people struggle so much with their laptops and some of the other uh webcams is that the their webcam which i can i should have uh, should, should I, should I, I, I ain't gonna get it. Nah, I gotta keep going because we, we only got so much time. It's over there. Um, the, the Logitech C920 has a glass lens. So I want you to imagine when you're using your computer, this is a computer here, and over here I have my notes. So I can see over here kind of what's coming up. So I use this. People always say, Shay, why do you have two cameras? Well, I use this so I can see what's going on and watch what you're watching. So that's why I normally keep that here, by the way. And then, uh, the Logitech C920, then I have my handy dandy iPad that has the cord. If this cord comes out, you guys might go away, so that's not good. This, this is a real water bottle. Someone says it's real. Yes, it has real water in it. Um, I do drink it when you're not watching me. Um, but the Logitech, the problem with using your iPad or a camera is it has a plastic lens. So many times you're trying to clean the lens and wipe the lens down. So it's like if you're driving a car and you had plastic all around the windows, you could never get it just perfect. Oh, I should have put camera. Okay, they told me to put camera up here. Camera. So y'all know what this is. Camera. Okay, can y'all see camera? Um, but when you have a glass lens, then you get that crispy, clear photo, that great picture that's just like amazing. And Wayne, you're going to love it. Jacqueline, you're going to say, whoa, I had no idea. And isn't that what it's all about at the end of the day? Yeah. 
Now I'm letting you guys behind the scenes and see me uh, go find my notes. There we go. See me find what's going on. But the point I want to make is you don't need a lot of money and you don't have to be a techie. The Logitech C920 plugs directly into your a computer. It has a USB port to it. And so the USB port that it has is like really, really cool because all you do is plug it in and there's no software. So now you'll be super confident. And I like the Logitech C920. I should have parted over here. I don't want to get up. Um, because it can sit onto an iPod, I mean, onto a, a tripod. So, it, yeah, tripod. Someone said they can't understand me. Let me go over here. I, I got to get, I gotta, I gotta get to how to make money, guys. Tripod. Tripod. Let's show up the tripod. So, the Logitech sits on the tripod, and now you have a camera that can be like this, and you can position the camera on you, and you can move the camera around, so you can make it higher or you can make it lower, and so now when you're, you're broadcasting, the reason it looks good here is we have something called depth of feel. Depth of feel, you can look it up as like bokeh background, but depth of feel means I've got six feet between the camera and myself, and six feet uh, between me and behind me that allows us to get what's called a depth of feel, so you get the blurred camera effect. And, and I like it also because I was talking to a colleague and they had the camera and they had no idea that the Logitech C920 has an app. And on the app, I think it's called Webcam Settings, Webcam Settings, you can go and you can adjust the lightness, the brightness, just like you do on your phone. And you can zoom the camera in and zoom the camera out. So what I like about it is that you never, ever, 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 never, never, ever, ever have to get up. So some people gotta get up, they gotta go adjust the camera, Nah, now you set it down, you use a remote control just like you do at home, and in doing so, it makes it so much easier for everybody else. Now, I got to go warp speed, but I'm trying to give you behind the scenes before I tell you how to make the money. Listen, I, I want you to know something. There's a lot of words over here, Dan Thomas. I get it. There's a lot of words over here, I understand, but some of our best students came to us not knowing anything about tech. And now they feel confident and do things they never thought was possible. Yeah, you can use StreamYard. That's a great, great software. You can use Ecamm. That's a great software. You can use Wirecast. That's a great software. My personal recommendation is StreamYard. I like StreamYard because it's easy. I like StreamYard because it's affordable. I like StreamYard because you can get two people and three people panels up there. I, I like Wirecast because it's more advanced. Some of you can go Google uh, Telestream Wirecast. It, it, it's more advanced, but it allows me to do some things. So let's say, for example, we're here and all you're here. And I decide I want to play a commercial, right? I say, okay, I'm going to play a commercial. It's doing the show. It could be a broadcast. Well, using Wirecast and the software allows me to do one. So let's say I, re I recorded a video. I'll let y'all watch it. It's less than, I think it's a minute and 53 seconds. Let, let us go and let them see this because this is what you can do during your show. And this is what a number of our clients hey, do. Hey, what's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in. This is one of those days where the motivator needed motivation. Check this out. Have you ever been in a situation where your trainer actually shows up at your house, like knocks at the door and is like, what's up? Are you ready to go? And I'll be truthful with you. This was one of those days why I didn't want to go. Like, okay, the date has been on the calendar. It's scheduled to do it. I know I need to work out. I wanted to work out, but I just didn't have the motivation to do it. And here's something that I really appreciate about Troy. And this is so true. Troy says, look, Shay, there's no such thing as part-time obsession. Like, you've got to be obsessed all the time with improving yourself. you got to be obsessed with taking care of your body. When you are truly obsessed, Shay, there are no breaks. I'm thinking, you know what? He's right. You are not just obsessed on Monday through Thursday. And then you slowly change when you've got to do something you want to do. you got to be obsessed all the time. And isn't that how life is? Think about where you are right now. Maybe you're, you're like me. You're in a situation where you need someone to give you a little push. You need someone to put their hand down and help you over. You are the motivator, but you need to be motivated today. That's what I enjoy most about working out with Troy Fit. Yeah, he worked me out today. Yes, we got a full body workout, but more importantly, he helped shift my mindset. Here's what I want you to know. 
if you can, then you must. If you can go after your goals, then you must go after your goals. With that being said, I want you to know that you're amazing. I want you to know that you're incredible. And I want you to know that for you, the best is still yet to come. And what I like about it, when I walked out of the day, I got to grab one of those stickers that said, hashtag, did it. <laughs> and that's what's going to happen to you. I want you to find out what you want to do, and I want you just to do it. Hashtag, did it. Make it a great day, everyone, and we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. And so during your show, you, you can do it during a podcast, but if you, and, and what I'm teaching you, it doesn't matter if it's a show or a podcast or online or pre-recorded. This is live, obviously. But, but the ability to be able to, to raise your game and production values in the middle of your show, where a lot of folks, when they first started with us, they had no idea how to do that. And now they're able to do that. And it makes for such a better, better production. See, we believe in principles. And that's what I'm teaching you right now. Good camera, good lighting, background. Principles are ways of dealing with reality until we get what we want. And that's what it's all about. That's what this is about. I gave you the Logitech C920 already. I gave you how to have this incredible, super duper background by just having some, some, some paper here, right? And, and making sure that you, that you go, you print something off, you put it behind you, uh, make it a little easier. I taught you already about depth of feel. Um, the, the lights that we're using are called newer lights, newer, I should pull it up, newer. Let's see if they're, let's, let's see if we can pull this up. So one of the reasons why you want to, let's see here, I'm going to go real time and this may not work. Let's see, amazon.com. I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can do this real, real time with you guys, by the way. Uh, newer, let's go here. Newer, N-E-E-W-E-R, newer LED light. Let's see. Let's see if this works. You can Google it yourself. All right. So this does work. Um, so you can go to Amazon. I'm going to give this stuff away. Uh, let's see here. Let's go back. So one of the things I like about using this software is it allows you to do real stuff. So now I'm showing you the lights. These are newer lights. They used to be $119. Um, let's see what the price is now. Oh, wow, I think the price is $200. Wow, they've gone up. That was guy Kevin. These things, well, you don't need all the bags and stuff. You, you can get two lights. Some of you can just get two lights. Um, I have three lights. Um, I'm at, uh, uh, hold on, hold on. We're getting a stick in it. We're getting a stick in it. There we go. Um, I just went to Amazon, typed in newer lights. I could have very well went in. For those that want to know what the Logitech looks like, L-O-J-I-T-E-C-H. Logitech, Logitech. I used to be able to see that far. Logitech uh, Brio. The Logitech Brio camera is the one that I'm recommending you get. Uh, it's a it's a super duper camera. It's gonna be hard to get it. I don't think it's in stock. But uh, can y'all see that? I hope y'all can see it. That'd be so mad. Let me look. Hold on, I'm going to the camera because I've got this up and I'm doing this at the same time. So I'm trying to do too much. Uh, there we go. Oh, y'all can still see me. Hey! So the other thing I like about this is you can see me while I'm talking to you. So for those that do training and explaining, um, it doesn't matter what software you do, um, but I showed newer, and I'll send y'all a list of all this stuff. This is the Logitech C, uh, Logitech Brio. This is the one I said that sits up on a uh, tripod. It's our camera. It's a 4K camera. Don't worry about that. Just know in English, you're going to look like you got a million dollars. Uh, you're going to look like a million bucks on there. This is the webcam. I think this is the uh, Logitech Pro camera. They're probably out of stock. It used to be 50 bucks. Like 30 days ago, this thing was like 50 bucks. Well, not 30 days ago. 60 days ago, this thing was like 30 bucks. Or now I think now it's like 200. That's crazy, man. But it's so cool because, see, you see how small this is? This is it. And it has a microphone already on it. Now, I'm not going to spend all day on cameras because. I got to get to what I came to show you. I didn't came to show you all this right now, but I just jumped ahead of time. But I want you to know that you can do this. I, I, I'm trying to show you like different ways. I, I showed you earlier the background. I told you how to do that. Uh, I think I also shared with you that we're using a iPad over here so you can see. I told you I'm using a whiteboard, which is a free app. That's what I'm using here, a free app. For those that are like, this is cool, Shay. I want to stay in the conversation. I want all the tools. Uh, I could have fun and I could say text. Me, uh, hold on, text. Oh, this is hard. I'm trying to do this real time. Text, and I go here. Media 
Empire to my personal cell phone number. My personal cell phone number is 202-270-1662. Text that now, and I'm going to send you the 17-point checklist. I'm going to send you a list of the lights, where to get the specials at. I'm going to send you the microphone. I'm going to tell you about the microphone I'm using now, the software, and everything. I'm giving it to you now, but some of you are kind of like, oh, man, Shay, I want to get that. So I want, Shay, I want, first, I want your checklist. Then, Shay, I want a revenue session. So how can I customize this for what I'm doing? And I'm going to go through some cool stuff on how to make money in a minute. But you want all that. And you might not make it. Maybe you just jumped on it. You missed part of it at the beginning. Just text the word Media Empire to 202-270-1662. Get all of the details. Now, I wrote it so you could see it, right? But then this is the power of being able to, to jump back and forth and have multiple ways of doing it. Or I could give it to you this way. And I, now this is just a Word document. It's all this is a Word document. I'm just showing my screen so that you can see it. And I'm saying, okay, text the word Media Empire for the seven point media checklist, the show playbook, and a customized revenue session. No cost to you. And the reason I, I share that is that doing here, we're able to connect and we're able to stay in the conversation. I asked you earlier to write this down. I hope you wrote it down. If you didn't, please write it down right now. This is very, very important. But write, write this in your notes right now. I will build my media empire. I will build my media empire. Someone write that right, right below the video right now. Write that right below the video right now. I will build my media empire. Hashtag CEO desk. I will build my media empire. There's no reason that any of us watching right now will not do this. There's no reason why. I will build my media empire. And if you miss the number to text, you can still do it. You can text 202-270-1662. That's my personal cell phone number. Include your first name. Include your last name. Include your best contact number. And someone texted me and said, Shay, is this for people who are already doing it? Absolutely it is. If you're already an entrepreneur or a video creator and you're already doing video or live video, now's the time to up your game. Now's the time to stand out from the crowd. Now's the time to generate what? Instant credibility. And now I'm gonna tell you how to make the money. Someone say, Shay, make the money. You put in earlier that one of the things you're gonna show us is how to reach customers, how to find customers, and how to make sure we stay in business by generating number revenue. That was number three, baby. That was number three. That's coming up right now. But that is our goal for our time here today. Nestle, good to see you. Cynthia Green, always a pleasure. I love watching Breakfast with the Greens. I got green around, Cynthia. <laughs> I'm surprised she's still up. But it is so freaking amazing. Okay, now, we, we hadn't got started yet. I mean, I, we really, no, seriously. So seriously, I, I was supposed to show you all some of this stuff later, but I, I got carried away, so don't worry about it. I'm not following the script. I'm hanging out. I'm having fun. It's just you and I, and this is what it's about. So now I want to show you what I'm supposed to show you. <laughs> No, seriously, because with a professional video, you can gain instant credibility and maybe they never meet you, maybe never see you. I get to talk to so many of you all over the world and it is an honor, a privilege, a treat and a treasure to do that and I've never met you. And whether you work with my team or you work with myself, folks tell stories of videos they've seen or conversations, but you gain instant credibility, you grow your audience, you feel more confident you're able to do videos and you don't need to edit it. You can increase engagement doing live videos. And I like some of you who like to use uh, Restream.io because you're like, you know what, Shay? I just want to set it and forget it, Shay. Set it and forget it. And what does set it and forget it mean? It's on Restream. I think it's Restream.io. Some of you want to just set it and you're like, you know what, Shay? I just want to do it. Like, I don't want to be fumbling around all day. I just want to do it. Well, here's the good news. You can go to Restream.io, and here's, here's what they'll do for you. You can, you can record your video, and then you can set it, and they'll broadcast it out to multiple platforms. You see there it has Facebook, uh, um, uh, Twitter, it has uh, YouTube, and it's just Restream.io restream.io so so you don't have to you don't have to work as hard you, you don't have to work as hard okay i'm gonna give you some more tools um but but i, I want to let you know that 
You serve, you serve, and then you give more. SSG. Serve, serve, and give more. Here's how you can serve right now. Hit the heart button. Hit the like button. Someone hit the share button. Someone please pay this message forward. Don't hold it to yourself. Let's bless someone else out there. Let's make a difference for another entrepreneur that's wondering how they're going to increase revenue opportunities. And they know about it. They heard about it. They read about it. They studied about it. But yet they're still not getting what they need right now. Well, I'm going to pull back the curtain today. I don't have anything to hold. One setup for all is a single video setup. You can record your video, so mine's set up. I'm doing live videos from right here. I do my podcasting right here. I do my course videos from right here. There was a day we would take you into the studio, have this green screen, have someone behind a microphone, have another producer, have another engineer, have all these lights, and it was like, but we've come so far. And nothing is better than sitting down and building out the course. I'm building out a mini course right now for just how to have your own show. A lot of people do it, but I'm gonna give you my view of the world. It's gonna be no cost. It's my gift to every single one of you that do text in. I will invite you to course, there will be no cost. But just know I did it. <laughs> I did it right here from my own computer. See, here's what I know to be true. TV production, you can do quality all by yourself. You can be a one production shop. Now my son stops by from time to time, and he was in here earlier, but right now, it's just me. Now, this is a microphone, has an XLR core. Someone said share with microphone. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but jot this in your notes. People will forgive you for bad video, but not bad sound. They will forgive you for bad video, but not bad sound. So every decision you make to build your media empire, for everyone who agreed to do that, every decision you make, no matter how small, is a step towards success. Or it's a step towards failure. And the fact that you showed up right now tells me that you have the potential inside of you to perform at a higher level. The fact that you showed up tells me that you want to make a difference in the world by serving other folks. The fact that you're here right now tells me you're a speaker, you're an author, you're a coach, you're a trainer, you're a network marketer, you're someone, Dwayne, you're someone, Monica, you're someone, Wayne, you're someone right now that says, I've got to do it, make it happen. So let me give you the three steps to help you create your own video studio without confusion, overwhelm, or wasting any time. Can I do that thing for you? Because for some of you, it's time to discover confidence, get instant credibility, and grow your audience. There are new business opportunities that are waiting for you right now, and you're ready to step into it. You're ready to make it happen. You're ready to do it. So let's give you the steps. Step one, determine and plan what you're gonna do. So you gotta start with a simple plan. So determine your desired look and feel. And I, I have the look and feel I have. This, determine the right space and order your gear with complete kits. So I told you I chose this background. Uh, tomorrow, you might see a different background. I might just order a different poster to put behind me because this is so much fun. Now, don't you guys go share, don't, don't you guys be uh, saying what, giving away the secrets. I, I'm out of the green screen business, right? And so, um, um, you decide. I decided I wanted a desk. Some people just want a headshot. Some people want to be sitting back on a couch. But you've got to plan and decide what you want to do that's going to look good for you. Step number two is you've got to build it out. So I, even if you have a small space, we talked about that earlier, but create a set background that's full of your personality. The audio techniques, the reason I gave you guys the Brio earlier, I think it's still there, right? Yeah, the reason I gave you all the, the Brio or the uh, Logitech, oh, it's gone. I didn't save it, did I? No, I didn't save it. Okay, they said I didn't save it. Okay, got it. Um, the reason I gave that to you earlier is that I wanted you to know that as you're watching right now, that you can have a microphone that's already on the camera, and that'll make it so much easier for you. Now, we'll talk about DSL cameras in a moment, but that's a little advanced for most folks. Um, and then just go live. Now, you can use a little more advanced camera if you decide to, right? You can go back and use Amazon. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to our favorite place, which is Amazon, A-M-A-Z-O-N, Amazon.com, and I'm gonna type in here, Canon T6i. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm looking here to see if they still have the Canon T6i camera, which they do. 
Um, you can get the complete kit. Uh, here it is right here. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, you guys can't see what I'm doing. Oh, doggone it. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Do, do, do. I, I went online and I found the Canon. For those that want to do something advanced, they do have what's called a, a DSLR camera. Um, many times you'll see me. Oh, they can't see you. Okay, hold on, let me go here. Oh, here, here. Oh, that's not it. Okay, here, here, here. Okay, um, now you can see me. If you can see me, say, Shay, we see you. Because <laughs> I can't see the monitor right now. Um, but, but I'm going to get to how to make money doing this. But there is a camera. It's called a, a DSLR camera. Now, a DSLR camera is pretty cool, right? Because you could just plug it in the back and then put it to your computer. Now, it's going to have a few more bells and whistles. It's going to have more clarity. It's going to do a lot of cool stuff because you're paying for the lens and you've got an engine. But for many of you, starting with the Logitech, it's going to do everything you need. Do I use the uh, Canon? Someone said, Shay, do you still use a DS DSLR? Yes, I do. Uh, Shay, is that really a background? Yes. If you text me, I'll tell you we can get your, your own background. So you can just print something and put this up as well. So I'll make sure that you get that. I'll see the lighting kits for those who sent the text in for you. But my point is, you can turn your studio into a true production. Now, I want to take you behind the scenes. I've kind of already done that to a certain degree. But I want to give you some cool stuff because we're coming down the home stretch. And I'm going to give you 11 ways to monetize this. But the question sometimes comes up and says, Shay, when you create the Happy Entrepreneur Show, it was the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I get that, right? And that's so true. So I just want to take you behind the scenes so you can see some of the things that we had to do to get it going. And I also want you to know as you're thinking about the software, and you think about production, make sure that you put the time and energy in the sound. I'm using right now a, a microphone. This is just a regular microphone, but it has an XLR cord. XLR cord gives you super duper sound, for lack of a better term. And I'm going over here and I'm using, for my sound system, I'm using a focus right. Focus. Focus. Yeah, here's Scarlet. Go back. There we go. All right, let, let's pull that up. So, what I'm using for sound on the other side, just so you guys can see it. Uh, so I'm using what's called a focus right. Oh, y'all didn't. Okay, hold on. I got. I had to go click on one of these so y'all can see it. Let me get the one I got. I think it's this one. All right. When I first bought it, I bought this kit here. And some of you remember when I had the red microphone, and I had this kit right here. And this kit right here came with a headset, which I have over there. I have a red box. The red box has a cord that goes into it. See, so has two cords. So someone like uh, Eric Heilig and and uh, Sakisha who who have one of the baddest shows out there, Marriage Can Win. And then it has a, a microphone, and that microphone was pretty good. And then there's the cord system that went with it. And, and so this right here, for most of you, this is a little advanced, another $200. So it might be, you, might, you don't need that, because the other one does have a microphone. But for those that were curious and said, Shay, what microphone are you using? That is it, the Focusrite Scarlet. Now, for those that text in, I'm going to send you that list. I'm going to send you where to get it from, where to go on Amazon, where to go get uh, other ones that are very similar, so I got you covered. Don't worry about that. Let me give you some of the behind the scenes stuff you need to do. Step one is you need to select the theme for your show. Now, we went with the theme when we did the Happy Entrepreneur Show that we opened up. We were going to have some music, we were going to have some rah rah. We were going to make sure that it had a beat to it, and uh oh, it had a beat, and it had a rhythm to it that made it really, really easy. And some of you who've seen the intro many times, some of you've seen it. No, that's how it starts. And it starts like this. Now, again, I'm showing you the software. I told you Wirecast, told you StreamYard. StreamYard is my recommendation. Wirecast is the high end, but it will allow you to do some cool stuff. So now we have an intro. I showed you all the CEO desk. Let's show them the one that we do now. <laughs> I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, check. Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is we win, we win, we no matter what. Man. Got money on my mind, Man. I can never Man. get enough. And every time I step Man. up in the building, yes. everybody yes. hands go up. Yes. Yeah. And they stay there.
so so that's that's an intro um we use it for the intro and the outro so pick the theme pick the music if you're like shay i don't know where to get music from uh let me give you another site that you can buy music that you can own people always say shay where do you get your music from premium beat is that it okay here yeah. so they always want to know where do i get my music from um i like going to premiumbeat.com premiumbeat.com someone can write that down right below the video uh i think that's uh like forty dollars or something like that, but you own the music. So they have you see all this curated music they have here, and you can go online and you can pick out the music you want. You purchase it and then you own it, so you don't have to worry about. They have all popular searches and all that. I'm not going to play the music right now. Um, they let you sample it. They let you listen to it, and you get a license for it. So now you don't have to worry about getting shut down by YouTube. Some people want to use you know music that they don't own the rights to, and I'm like, look, for forty or fifty bucks. You own the music. You can use it multiple ways. It's premiumbeat.com. So I'm gonna look right below the video and put premiumbeat.com. Um, I, I want to make sure you guys have this. Um, as you know, really, my thing is making money. But I, I want people, whether they do a show or they do a um, podcast, I want you to do this. I, I asked you earlier to make that declaration that I will build my media empire, and I want you to do that. Uh, I want you to do it because that's the legacy or one of the three legacies I want you to leave behind. I want you to leave behind all the money you're going to leave behind. I get that. And I understand there's some family treasures you want to leave behind. But, but right after that, I want it to be your media empire. I'm working with someone right now, and we're going back and creating their legacy. And they're doing it through a, through a podcast series. And we wrote out the documentary for them. And every day they're answering questions. But this is the legacy they'll leave for future generations. I'm really, really pleased to be a part of that project. And so when I say build my, my media empire, it's not all about the money. But it's really about you. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think I lost it. Do, 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 do. Oh, there we go. It's, it's really all about you. I did something too fast. Hold on here. Uh, if you guys want to know what happened, let, let's just show them what happened. So what happened was I was trying to go back to get this slide. And when I went back to try to get the slide, I'm on my iPad. I hit the wrong button and then it closed. So I almost panicked, but I'm not going to panic. I'm not going to panic. Rule number one, don't panic. Let's see. We go to slide show. Make sure I get this thing. And this is just right online. So you can do this uh, current slide. OK, there we go. So I want you to put, I will build my media empire. I try to be fancy. I want you to write that right below. I will build my media empire. Hashtag, hashtag CEO desk. Now, as I was doing that, now I can close this, go back. Do, 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 do. So you guys know what I'm doing now, so I don't have to keep talking, right? I can try to hurry up and get, not hurry up, but make sure I give you, I want to tell you how to make money doing this. So we, let me give you these steps. Let me give you these steps. Step number one, select a theme for your show. Step number two, research and determine who your target audience is. One of my clients is working with someone and they're not targeting their, their current audience. They want to bring in an entirely new audience. So for example, we have the Happy Entrepreneur Show. We have the broadcast and I love the broadcast. I love what it represents. I love the interviews. But now with CEO Desk, and some of you have already joined the CEO Desk group. If you haven't, just go to Facebook, go up top and put CEO space desk, or you can see this right below the video, go to CEO Desk community. Make sure you make sure you join and we're gonna have a CEO Desk show and podcast just for CEOs. Now many of you are CEOs, some of you are entrepreneurs and what's the difference? I have time to get into that. But it will be more business focused on copywriting, which is the number one skill to hold people back, to client attraction funnels, which if you, you, you will not be in business if you don't have a client attraction funnel, something that's bringing in people that you can serve. And then the third one is sales, but we're not gonna sell, we're gonna just serve, serve, give value, and then offer a solution when we're asked. And, and so for many of you, you've got to research and really determine, are you going after your current audience? Or are you looking to bring on an entirely new audience that doesn't exist today? Because once you step back, step number three, and you define the concept of your show, and you decide this is what I'm going to do, like this is the total concept, then it, it's, it, 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 it makes it different. It, it, it starts it at, a, at a place where you're like, oh, I wasn't thinking about that. I, I was just thinking about doing one thing and now you find yourself doing something else. Any great show comes with a well thought out idea and strategy. So will it just be you talking, giving advice and sharing expertise or will you be interviewing guests? Are you planning on inviting experts and asking them to share insights? 
Have you considered an issue-based show? See, there's a lot of different ways and things we consider. We consider we want to be a, a interview show and we wanted to be a resource hub and that's what we decided we're hanging our hats we're a re place that people come to to get the resources necessary to execute their vision because revenue is why they cannot purchase the resources they already have the expertise they already have the experience god's get them everything they need but like moses he needs they need resources and that's one of the things that revenue produces, whether it's resources for themselves, the vision they have for themselves, whether it's resources for their loved ones to take care of their family, to, to live in a home they want, to send their kids to school. My, my nephew's on his way to school. I mean, school today is sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000. It's incredible. Um, my other um, nephew got into uh, Cornell. I mean, $75,000, $80,000. Where does that money come from? So many different places. Then some of you just want to serve your clients better. So my point is we got to define the concept of the show. That isn't something I take lightly. Look, if you're out there and you're like, Shay, I need to get all the notes. I need all the tools. I need all the gifts. I missed something earlier. I, I, I heard about it. They were screaming about it, but I didn't get there in time. Can you just send it to me? Yes, yes, yes. We're doing that. You got to take your cell phone out because I believe rewarding people who take action. The universe rewards people who take action differently than those that don't. So what do you do real quick? What do you do? Well, you first just text the word media empire. So open up your cell phone. And once you open up your cell phone, you type in that magical number, like where you normally would type in a message. You put media empire, like right there. And then you go to the top and you put in 202. 2701662. Now, after you do that, go back below and put your first name because I'm going to send you the seven point media checklist. Um, go ahead and put your last name so you make sure you get the show playbook. Then that's the playbook that we're talking about that you can run. And then you on a customized revenue session because I'm going to go over 11 ways quickly on how, how you monetize this. There's no cost, there's no catch, there's no charge. Okay? It's our big give back. Serve, serve, give value serve serve give value and that's all we want to do so if you want to continue serving you and continue giving you value then go ahead and text 202 that's my personal cell number so don't expect a quick response but it's my personal cell number and then i will make sure that someone from my team um, gets back to you and i'll probably call you personally myself that's my promise to you for those folks that are out there uh thank you for watching do me a favor hit the uh share button don't hold this to yourself we believe in the giver's economy. The person that out gives the competition, out earns the competition. The person that out gives the competition, out earns the competition. So I want you right now to hit the share button. And we hit the share button, just put serve, serve, give. That's all you gotta do. Hashtag CEO desk. Serve, serve, give more value. Serve, serve, give more value. Go ahead and do that right now, if you would. And if you get one golden nugget and you're watching, just for fun I'm, I'm gonna go back and first time i've done this i'm just having some fun right now um look below the video and, and and share your big takeaway like look right below the video and put my big takeaway because your big takeaway could be someone else's big breakthrough so don't hold it to yourself these videos often go viral and i don't do it for that but i, I do want you to share it please share it okay number five i gotta get to the money part consider uh, a set of the topics that you want um, as we discussed before, you want to stay within the context of your own niche. Remember, you're good at your job. So brainstorm an entertaining set of subjects. Create a segment calendar with topics you're planning on covering. And plan like this will spare you the panic and hassle of the next show's preparation. This move allows you to give a sneak peek to what's coming up next. So when I know what's coming up, like for example, we was doing a, a show and it was all about revenue, it was all about money, but it also was talking about psychology. I was able to weave in one of the commercials, which is I refuse to live talented and broke. So I had the person do a pre-production prior to. Let me share that, which is a little less than two minutes, but I want to share that with you just so you get a flavor for what you can do. Delano, let's go ahead and share that with them. Because I live in a city where there are more creative people per square mile than any other place on the planet. Question is, how many of them are successful? How many are just like I was, talented and broke? 
Being broke is more than just not having money. It's failure to turn opportunities into profitable businesses and relationships that last. <laughs> My mother always said, people perish for lack of knowledge. A compass takes you in the direction of your destiny, but knowledge of obstacles and distractions will ensure you arrive safely. My mentor once said to me, if I had half your talent, I'd have four times my wealth. Since then, I made a promise to God. If he would help me unlock my earning potential, I would pay it forward and help others do the same. That's why I wrote this book. Because God made us too talented to live our lives broke. And that includes you. So when you when you plan it and you're using the software, and these are just videos that are running directly from my hard drive, it allows you to do that, just like it allows you to have like a lower third that's right below. And the lower third is important because some of you've already, well, you might have requested, I haven't accepted it over CEOdeskcommunity.com. You want to connect with other CEOs that are just like you. Some of you requested the blueprint why I've been here. But but this allows you not to do things at the last minute, which is really what you want to be able to do and decide on your performance style. Being a smart host is not only about doing all the talking. If you feel like branching out, invite guests to join you for the live talk show. One of the best ways to hold listeners and maximize the audience is to invite relevant industry experts. So it's not all about you. It's about everyone else. Some things you've got to plan. Like I, I did plan on showing you like this background so you knew that this this background, you know, wasn't a real background. So I plan on showing you that. I plan on showing you the, the, the scarlet camera. I plan on showing you the newer lights. I planned on it. So sometimes you've got a plan. And then other things I didn't plan on happening. I didn't plan on things getting stuck. I didn't plan on talking about the the uh, the stuff on Amazon. But if you plan ahead and you're authentic, it'll make it much easier for you and for your audience. And isn't this so important? Now, one of the things I'm doing now, and maybe you would do this too, is looking for a co-host, um, a more experienced or otherwise talented co-anchor can benefit and leave a more professional impression with all of you. So when you're looking for one, you want to ask a couple of questions. Uh, does his or her personality complement mine? What kind of reputation does this person have with my audience? What about the level of expertise on their subject? Does the topic of my show correspond with the new host's audience and interest? Is the person really, really committed their time and their energy? See, you can take the angle of your show into account, and when you do that, it, it, it allows them to kind of be able to, to be there and I'm working on that. Um, we did some co-hosts. I'm not going to show the whole thing, but I brought on what, what's called producers to be co-hosts. And for those of you who've been out there, we had about 40 producers. And for those that text in, maybe you want to be a producer. And the producer would produce a segment of the show. So they would go out, they would pre-record um, relevant topics. And I asked them, I wanted to do Monday motivation in their area of expertise. So in doing that, they would put it together, send it in, the team would produce it, and at the end of the day, you would get quality, and then now you get the experience of the folks. So you saw Delanta was, was just one, and then there's Dr. Kim Warren Martin. So she's a producer. She's like a co-host, but she's not always here. And so here's one of her... Hey, hey there, all you rockin' happy entrepreneurs. Today is your January 1st. This is Dr. Kim Warren Martin, founder of Successful and Fulfilled bringing you my thought of the week here on the Happy Entrepreneur Show. This week's thought is, don't complain, be grateful. Whenever there's an opportunity to complain, there's an equal opportunity for gratitude. Earlier this week, my husband came up to me and he was rubbing his hands together to let me know um, how dry they were. Literally, it sounded like sandpaper. Well, I started doing the same thing and guess what? I got the same sound effect, uh, just because we're having to wash our hands so much these days and use hand sanitizer so often. So as we talked and lamented over how dry our hands were, it dawned on me that there is a blessing in these dry hands. So one of the things I thought was, thank you for my hands. Thank you for soap. Thank you for running water. Thank you for mobility to turn the water on and off. Thank you for eyesight to even see the change in them. And thank you for feeling in my hands to know that they're dry. And finally, yes, thank you for lotion. <laughs> 
<laughs> Whenever you see, uh, you sense yourself being negative or complaining, even slightly, uh, whatever the situation, find something to be grateful for. Let's say, for example, uh, you didn't get the deal, you didn't close the sale, it fell through. Well, find at least seven things you can say thank you for in the in the situation, you know, such as thank you for my business. Thank you for the opportunity to solve someone's problem. Thank you for a product or service that's needed. Thank you for my phone to even make the call. Thank you for the ability to talk. Thank you for the ability to hear, even if it was no. And thank you for the lessons I learned from this experience. First Thessalonians 5.18 says, be thankful in all circumstances. So in all circumstances, find something to be grateful for. This is Dr. Kim Warren Martin, founder of Successful and Fulfilled, with the thought, don't complain, be grateful. Until next time, make it a wonderful day. Back over to you. So I love doing that because now you have co-hosts, you have other folks who are involved, other folks who are sharing their expertise, other folks who are promoting your platform, and, and you don't have to carry the whole load yourself. And, and, and I love everyone. If you're out there and you're like, Shay, I'd like to be a co-host, just go ahead and send me a text. Um, you have my number, 202-270-1662, or you know someone who'd be a great co-host, just put co-host. <laughs> I'll reach out. We'll see if it's a good fit. I mean, obviously, if you text me, you might think it's a good fit, and, and I'm going to be selecting someone to do that, um, like, very, very, very shortly. Um, I'm excited about that, so I got to go eat my own cooking because I haven't got to number seven my own dog on self, but we did do it through a virtual platform, and it worked really, really, really well. Next time, just kind of pick a platform, like, where you're going to hang your hat at. Um, we hung our hat on Facebook. We broadcast on the business page because the business page allows us to collect the analytics and then we can push it back out. Um, we do uh, on all the podcast platforms. We're also on Amazon, uh, Apple TV, Roku, Amazon uh, TV as well. So you pick your platform and then establish a schedule and stick to it. Now, this is not always easy. Um, but when you have a show, folks look for the times. Our times have to be 11 o'clock at night. The reason it was 11 o'clock at night is we used to do our sales training with our team at 11 o'clock at night. And I used to be up. So I said, what if we let people view in? What if we let people watch? Someone else, instead of watching YouTube or trying to search for something else, they can listen to something live and it can be resource-based because not every entrepreneur is asleep at 11 o'clock. Nothing wrong with that. I used to be a 5 a.m. riser. I'm no longer a 5 a.m. riser, by the way, um, because we do 11 o'clock show and then there's so much to take place afterwards. Um, but, but pick a time and just stick to it, whatever the time is for you, and then create a promotion plan. We'll get into that because I'm going to get into making the money. But one of the biggest challenges that folks have is how do I reach an audience when I don't have one? And that question came up in a group recently. And one of the things I posted was you need to have um, syndicated agreements, yeah, syndication agreements. You had to have agreements with other people who agreed to post your show into their Facebook group or into their like page or send it to their network. Maybe you'll do that once a month. Maybe it's twice a month when you're doing a special show. In return, you do the exact same thing for them. So it's like give some, receive some. Give some, receive some. And those are called syndication agreements. And there's a lot of other ways to promote it. But I'm seeing this left out. A lot of folks just aren't doing this right here. And then last, just create a create video and live video, no matter what. You don't have to get it right. You just have to get going. I want to walk through at least 11 ways to make money. And if you're out there right now, you're like, Shay, it's money time. Shay, I want to do all this and I want to serve. I want to serve. I want to give value. But there's another part to that equation. Another part to that equation is offer solutions. And so some people want to offer a solution. So they're thinking, how can I use this to have more meaning in the world, but also to run it from a business perspective? Uh, how can I have more impact in lives of folks that I want to touch and in businesses I want to help and nonprofits and in communities and at the same time have income come in? How can I make a dollar over here doing what I love and blessing others by solving a problem? Because people will pay me today if I solve them a problem today. And at the same time, make a dollar. Make a dollar and a difference. Make a dollar and a difference. If that's you and you will make a dollar and a difference at the same time, look right below the video and just write those words. Serve, serve, and give value. Hashtag CEO desk. Just put serve, serve, and give value. Hashtag CEO desk. Put that right below the video right now and as you're watching and as you're paying attention. And now I'm going to go into... A couple of ways you can make some money is you build this media empire. You're like, Shay, I'm in it for a whole lot of reasons. 
The number one way, not number one, number one, I'll give you 11. Number one is affiliate marketing. You can create your own ad spot to promote an affiliate offer. An affiliate marketing is where you get a commission when you refer people to other companies. And you will typically earn money when someone makes a purchase. Affiliate marketing works best when you promote products and services that you use are familiar with so you can authentically promote them. And, and, and you, you create an ad spot in it so that you know where you're going to do this. And, and so for some folks out there, there's a lot of places you can do that. Amazon, Liso. I'm not getting into that. There's a lot of places you can do that. But that's number one. So everyone, someone write down number one affiliate marketing and when you look at podcasts and look at other places some folks just aren't doing that and they're leaving so much money on the table number two is sponsors and advertising now advertising and sponsors are probably the first things you think of when you're looking for ways to make money on your online show or podcasting but there are several different podcast ad networks that exist out there and mid roll is one of them and they do all the work of finding advertisers, negotiating rates, getting the script and more. And you usually need a larger audience. So you might just need only about 5,000 folks, which you can do right now, um, especially, especially online. And if you don't use mid-roll, use authentic. Um, and there's a couple others. For those folks that text in earlier, I I'll make sure as we meet, you know, we'll find out what's appropriate for you for your industry, for where you are. But here's the good news. You don't have to do it all yourself. You really don't. Um, you could make money off courses. Many popular online shows create their own online courses to teach similar content to what they talk about on their podcast. Now, we work with a client. They weren't doing this. And online courses are great ways to teach something in an easy-to-follow way when someone can get specific result they're looking for when it's completed. It helps to build your list as you're doing it, obviously. But more importantly, more importantly, it helps to keep it in harmony. And many times I've shared one of our clients that one of the hugest breakthroughs is I said, during your show, you need to let them know that you're having this webinar, that you're having this masterclass, and this is coming up. Go over to abc.com site. And once you do that, then, then, you can then go ahead and share how your course has helped other folks. And if, if you have a podcast right now, you have an online show and you aren't doing any of these things, don't worry. We're going to help you. I mean, we're here to at least share with you some solutions. Some of you already texted in. Many of you texted in earlier and, and, and we'll get to every single one of you. That's my promises. The next thing you can do is you can offer services that are tied to the content in your show. I used to uh, analyze and critique sales pages online and I offered to do that. So by showing them that I was an expert in sales, I then could step back and I could review the page like real time. So I would go back and I always started with the headline, right? Because people say, well, Shay, no one reads my stuff. I'm not getting any conversions. And I always share with them that the headline is the number one thing that will get read. It's the only part of all the copy you have is the headline. And we spent a lot of energy in the headline. I don't know if you know this, but over at New York Times, they have two people that work for them. They both make $150,000 each. They have one job. Yeah, one job. And their one job is to write headlines. And so when I critique sometimes, I often didn't have to get by just the headline because I was already in the game. Like I was already there. And, and, and so I want you to think about what services that you may be able to offer or talk about while you are there doing your podcast or on your show. And then others, number five, number five is you can always offer some type of coaching platform. And the coaching platform always works because the coaching platform allows you to do some really cool things while you're there. And many of you do that sometimes. Um, I was talking to one client and they, they weren't even offering folks an opportunity to email in or to text in or to go to a website. So they were missing opportunities. Not that they were trying to sell anyone, but there might have been some people because of what they were talking about, because of the topic, just like some of you have, have texted in. And, and it's just because you, you have an interest in what we're talking about and it makes sense and sense. <laughs> It makes sense and sense because it doesn't cost you anything. And I'm going to bring the value when we have the meeting. So I want you to think about 
um, doing that. I uh, will talk about what you can do to have a giveaways that make sense. The other one is one that's not really used often that you see in the spaces that we're in. You can ask for donations to help support you and your show. Now, this is folks who have like a <coughs> an entertainment focus type of show in most cases, or a fit show or wellness show. A common platform for accepting donations, like say, where would they donate? How does the money get accounted for? What happens with the taxes? I can't get into all that. But Patreon is a great software. P-A-T-R-E-O-N. They make it really easy to offer additional content and bonuses depending on the amount of money that people support you with. They even give you the ability to have a separate paid only RSS feed. Now, what that means in English is they will set up where people pay and get access. That question comes up, Shay, how can they pay and get access? And I, I just answered that question on how they can do that. And the, the service that we talked about just now and I'll show it to you for those that, that didn't see it. I'm going back to my whiteboard. Remember, we're using my Apple iPad. We've got something here called uh, uh, a whiteboard. And we're putting down Patreon. P-A-T. Patreon. And Patreon, I love Patreon because you can do it for crowdfunding. My handwriting's not good tonight uh, or this morning or whatever you're watching this and donations and I like patreon um, you're gonna find it really cool for many of you it's the answer to how can you have something that ties in nicely with what you're doing where they pay to get access to the content that's not in your membership portal but the donations help pay for it and sponsor it to other areas and that's a question that comes up often by the way it's a very reasonable question at a very very reasonable time Okay, why is why is this there? Hold on, wrong one. Do 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 do. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, I cannot find this thing. Here we go. So now we got this number seven, and I love number seven. It's one of my favorite. It's premium content. Can really be anything you want, but some of the common ways that folks have been able to use this is doing additional interviews behind the scenes content which is what we're kind of doing today we're doing this behind the scenes now i could have had a camera here rolling and while i'm talking and preparing and getting ready and i could have went back and showed those clips us getting ready us setting up and, and putting everything together so it, it, it's, it's cool stuff people, people like stuff like that um you know, you're early uh where they can get the information early questions and answers with the host i want you to have fun when this comes up the daily wire is a podcast and news site that offers video versions of podcasts live episodes and so many other things so no matter what you think about the content they're offering this is a great great example it's premium content they pay to see this and for some of you that's what it's all about i've i've paid many many times and why is that because it was the right place at the right time for the right folks and I'm, I'm having fun this is just a lot of fun number eight is you can have events hosting events is not only a great way to make money but bringing together your best fans and bringing them even more value so you're just bringing your fans together and i love something that pat flynn does she was with uh walker stalker conference and one of the things they did and in, in during this time of where we are in the world is they had this nice virtual event to bring the, all the listeners together and, and it's kind of like a movement everyone coming together they have this common cause they're there it's fun it's cheerful i mean i look it's one of my favorite things to do i love it if you haven't done it already i want you to do that the next one that i used to wear my t-shirt all the time and i stopped doing that and there's no reason why i just gotta go go grab it but it's having physical products. Now, do <laughs> you said, Shay, you have any physical product? No. I have a t-shirt. I have t-shirts. I have t-shirts. You can get a t-shirt. It was the Happy Entrepreneur t-shirt, which we have now. We ordered the CEO desk t-shirt. And it's cool stuff because people like to be associated in some cases. These are your fans. These are folks who are right there with you. So physical products are things like t-shirts, mugs, and swag bags. And they represent you when you are not there and you can use a site like teespring put that in your notes teespring to make sure you get enough sales before they get printed that way you don't get stuck with a bunch of products sitting 
in the living room. You're like, oh my gosh, I got all these products in the garage and it didn't happen. So here's what I want you to know. If you're listening, you're like, God, shit, I got to step it up. Shit, I got to ramp it up. This is good stuff. I mean, this is exactly what I'm looking for. Then I want you to know that today, in fact, is your January 1st. Today is your January 1st. You can do this. I mean, you can you can step up and you can make this happen. Someone do me a favor. Go ahead and write those words. Today is my January 1st. Today is my January 1st. You can decide. You can believe and you can take action. You can decide today that you're going to build your media empire. You can believe that it's possible to build your media empire. And during this conversation we're having right now, you can take action to build your media empire. Today is my January 1st. Someone do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and write those words. Hashtag today is my January 1st. And it's a new start. It's a new beginning. One of my clients um, did a whole book. Like what they were putting together for their content was really book worthy. And so they did it section by section. And so one of the things you can do is you can leverage a popular podcast or show into a book. And it's another excellent way to make money and increase your authority. You can use your podcast audience or your show audience to get those initial sales and reviews that will help your book stand out. There are a couple of examples out there. Peter Drucker or Chris Druck, Ducker, sorry, Peter's dead. Chris Ducker recently came out with Rise of the Youpreneur. You can also be a guest on other pro, on other podcasts and help to promote the book that you're doing. And I want you to think right now, if you were to do this, like what would the name of your book be? What would the title of your book be? Like you made a commitment to I'm going to build my media empire. I'm going to build my media empire. And in fact, you are going to build your media empire and you are going to make it happen. But number, uh oh, number, uh oh, number, uh oh. Well, we got a typo. Number 11, rule number one, don't panic. I just told you, you don't have to get it right. <laughs> you just got to get going, everyone. Number 11, public speaking. And, and many show folks, they have shows and podcasts and online programming, they get approached for speaking gigs that are in their industry. It makes sense that if someone likes what they hear on your show, you would most likely be a good fit at a conference, at a webinar, one day soon in the future, a live event. Whether you go for free or you get paid, speaking fees can range. But speaking is another great way to increase your authority as well as getting exposed to new audience. And, and in many cases, someone says, well, Shay, uh, what if there's a fee? Should I pay? Can I charge people to be on my show? Yeah, you can charge people to be on your show. I mean, do we do it to Happy Entrepreneur Show? No, but we have other platforms where it's not that they're paying to be on the show. It's just that you've already paid to put the event on. You paid for all the advertising. You paid for all the marketing. You paid the graphics team to put it together. You paid for the venue. You paid for the DJ. You did all, you, you got all the money in, right? And there's three ways that a speaker can get on the stage. Number one is they can be an expert at what they do. And it's such a niche expert, you pay them. Number two is they can bring an audience. They bring an audience to the party. And number three, it can be a crowdfunded approach where everyone has a little skin in the game. And so I love this as being a way to grow a speaking platform. And whenever I come across a speaker, an author, a coach, a trainer, a network marketer, an influencer, or even a business owner, and they don't speak, I'm like, fine, you never have to speak, but at least purchase a platform that you directly own and maybe you hire someone else and they do all the talking and they like that kind of stuff and you're you're the engine and you're the producer of it but this is the platform that raises your brand awareness this is the platform that extends your message this is the platform that you're leaving for future generations you must build your media empire whether you get paid or not and our platform is not a paid platform it's a platform that we do because i just like it I just like doing it. It works at 11 o'clock at night. I have fun. It's you, me. I appreciate every single one of you. Every one of you to hit the like button. Every one of you to hit the share button. Every time you send me a comment, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the bad stuff I get to. I get a lot of stuff from people. Oh, I thought it was going to be this. And I thought it was going to be that. So 
I can't please everybody, okay? I understand that, so the show's not for everyone. I get that. Um, but I do want to say that we appreciate you, that without you, there is no show. And that's one of the things that you've got to remember as we do these shows and we do these podcasts and we do these online programs and we do these master classes and webinars and whatever we're calling these days, um, that we do three things. And jot this in your notes. We serve serve and give value. I've said that a number of times. Someone hit the heart button. Someone hit the, the like button. If you're a servant leader, just look below the video and just announce, I am a servant leader. Hashtag CEO desk. Now, by you writing those words below the video, I am a, a servant leader. Hashtag CEO desk. That's the bat signal. That's the call for someone else to say, there's another leader. Maybe they can, we can serve together. Maybe we can collaborate. Maybe we can, we can work together. And, 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 and here's what we know, that we're stronger together. Here's what I know, no matter what industry you're in, success is a team sport. Here's what I know that you may agree with me, you can only get so far by yourself. And while these might be truisms, there's often truth inside of a truism. Isn't that so real? Isn't that what it's all about? Yeah, you gotta have fun. And I got stuck on public speaking, but I, I wanted you to, to, to let you know that it's not about you. I was talking to someone and they were really disappointed in their show numbers. Um, they've been doing a podcast now for a year. They've been doing Facebook Lives and other things and they just aren't getting the traction they wanted. Um, they've got about a little less than 300 people in their, in their group and, and I share some with them. I said two things, and I'll share it with you as well, because I've been there. I've been there where I'm just talking to me, and I believe Mother Dear. Mother Dear always go back and watch these things, so I always know there's someone who's <laughs> out there. Um, but um, I said, no, back in the day, and this has nothing to do with public speaking. This is, I'm on a rant now, but back in the day, the whole goal was to get as many people as possible, as many butts in the seat as you could, as many eyes on the screen, as many numbers in your group. Um, you had to have so many folks that were there. It was about the numbers, 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 numbers. And that was true for that moment in time. But there's been this paradigm shift that's taken place. And this paradigm shift says it's no longer about the numbers. It's about the engagement. If you're Dove Soap, and I don't never talk to Dove, by the way, but if I'm Dove and I'm thinking to myself, give me someone with 10,000 people on their page or give me... 50 excited individuals, let's, say, let's call them 50 moms, and they're dedicated to Dove, they believe in Dove, they're ambassadors, they're, they're for it, I'll take that any day. The greatest man ever walked this planet only had 12 disciples. I'm not saying you are him, certainly not saying I'm him, but what I am saying is that it takes a team, it takes a tribe, it takes a, com it takes a community. And, and, and so a few dedicated folks who are dedicated to making a difference, to serving other folks, when you're speaking and part of it, that's all it's about. So don't worry about the numbers. Don't worry if anybody shows up. You worry about the message. Conversation just last week, I told someone, I said, hey, look, it's never about what took place while you were alive. It's always about the replays. It's always about the syndication. It's always about how you can repurpose that and play it a second or third or fourth time. It's always about how you can take the audio from there and have it transcribed and put that into your academy. It's all about someone else benefited, benefited from it that you may never meet, that you may never see. Many of you out there I'll never get a chance to meet. Only through the power of these fiber optic lines do we have this conversation. Only through your, your comments. Only through many of you who send me a personal email. Some of you send me text, texts when you come in with the messages. Those words of encouragement, those words that you share with, those words that tell me what you want. It's when I go back when I'm with the team and I say, well, this is what folks have said. I say, well, Shay, not that many. Only 10 people said that. Well, it doesn't matter. It's been said. Forget statistics. Forget surveys. It doesn't really matter. If it matters to a few, then it matters to many. And so my point to you is, back to the, my regular program here, my, my point to you was, use public speaking. 
My point to you is that you might be the person that says, Shay, I'm different. I'm unique. I got to combine all the methods together. And as you can see, there are many different ways to make money from, from being online. Combining a few different ways is a popular approach. And you can always change and adjust and monetize methods over time. See, there is no right way to turn your show into a business. Just the right way for you. Speak from the heart is my Good friend from Toastmasters International used to tell me, Dr. Dan Kennedy, speak from the heart and be yourself. And if you do that, then your business will follow. It will take on its own methodology. It will take on its own way. If you're out there right now and as you're listening and you're tuning in, say, Shay, I need to monetize my message. Shay, I need to monetize my business. Shay, I need to build my media empire. Let me extend at least the opportunity for you and I to have a conversation, have a conversation with my team. Let's build the media empire. Let's look what works for you. Let's help you get sponsors. Let's help you get donations. Let's help you get folks extending your message. Let's reach more people and let's do it together or at least have the conversation. Worst case scenario, 10 minutes later, you walk away with just a customized idea that's gonna help you. Here's what you have to do because I believe the universe rewards people who take action so much differently than those that don't. I want you just to open up your cell phone, even if you've never done it before in your life, open it up. And when you open it up, just go to the text message section and just in the part where you normally put an emoji with a smiley face, just put the word media empire. No longer social, just media. Media empire. And, and, and then above, we got to put a phone number in. For those listening to the podcast or listen to the replay, you can do this as well. If you got a hold of this long lost video, you can do this. Text 202. It's my personal cell. So you're not going to get an instant response, by the way. But John will get in back in contact with you. I will call you. Kat will call you. Anna will call you. Some of my team will call you. 202 270 1662. Again, 202 270 1662. Once you do that, You'll get the seven point media checklist. You'll get the show playbook. You'll get the customized revenue session. No charge, no catch. Include your first name, include your last name, include your best contact number. And someone from my team, we're going to contact you immediately. And we're going to be right there for you because this is your moment. This is your time. Uh oh. Now we're behind the scenes again. This is where it all comes together. For those folks that say, what are you doing again, Shay? What are you doing? Uh, well, behind the scenes, and as you can see, uh, I'm on my iPad and my PowerPoint. Don't worry, rule number one, don't panic. That's rule number one. That's rule number one. Rule number one, don't panic. That means that Shay has to figure it out. And if we don't get to the rest, don't worry. But you text the word 202-270-1662. You text the word 202 uh, 270-1662 while Shay takes a second here uh, to try to figure it out. What are they looking at? Oh, you are behind the scenes with me. Okay, so now I got to move my presentation. This is so funny. From my iPad, let's hope it pops up, to my happy entrepreneur thing. There we go. Let's open up the PowerPoint. Do, 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 do. This is not good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I've never had this happen. Let's close this. Let's see what this is. Okay, well, that's not it. All right, so rule number one, don't panic. Rule number one, don't panic. I found it. I had multiple ones open. That <laughs> we can't make this stuff up. We really cannot make this stuff up. Maybe they'll go back and edit that part out. Who knows? Okay, so we're back. You're behind the scenes, you're on my iPad, I'm gonna do a quick recap just so you have it. Slide, uh, current, uh, current view. Oh wait, I didn't wanna start at the beginning. Okay, so remember that having a video on your page increases your conversion rate by 80%, by the way. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you three things that we did earlier while I try to go find where we were in this presentation. Um, one thing I wanna share with you is if you're an entrepreneur and you did text in, this is for you because now's the time to up your game, stand out from the crowd, and just generate instant credibility. There were three things that I think are important that I want to share with you and just as we do a quick recap for those folks out there. If you're listening out there, look right below the video and write your number one takeaway. Write your number one takeaway. 
is I said three things. Number one, get the camera, Logitech C920. I said that, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it again, I'm going to say it again. When we got to the part where I talked about that was so important that it doesn't have to be pretty, it only matters what the camera sees, I was sharing with you during that time that the camera doesn't see the blue wall. It doesn't. It doesn't see that this is just a piece of paper. It doesn't see that it's stuck up with a little small piece of tape behind there. It doesn't, doesn't see that that came from a photo that I just liked and decided I was going to send it to a printer. And I'll tell you how and how you guys can do that to those that text it in so you could do something like that. It, it, talk about the microphone. Talk about the focus right. Uh, we gave a lot of tools that you can use because it's not about what the camera sees. It's really, at the end of the day, it's really about where they are. Remember, a lot of our clients, when they started, uh, our best students, they didn't know anything about being a tech. And now they feel confident. And they're, they're doing things that you see. Where's the other popcorn? They're doing things that you see every day. I'm trying to get this thing up, guys. Um, doing, OK, they tell me I got to. OK, so you guys want to know what I'm doing. Like, Shay, what are you doing? OK, we're almost done. We're about two or three minutes. But let me just, uh, can I show it to them? How can I show it to them? OK, so I'm kind of going through, because I'm scared to do it. I'm scared to um, try to skip the slides to get to where I want to get to. So uh, oh, research, we said that. OK. OK, I'm, I'm just trying to get this. Some of you just want to have a, a cool looking PowerPoint. Hey, if you didn't text in, oh, we didn't text create video. Where'd that come from? Is this even the right one? OK, this is not the right one. OK, anyway, we don't have time to get into that. Let me go ahead. I'm going to try one more thing. I'm going to try one more thing. I think it's important. Um, I believe in the 4S formula because I can't find it. That's, that's okay, guys. Don't worry about it. Some of you are going to text it in. It's going to be real. Don't worry. We'll get it right. Uh, I'm going to try it one more time. Let me just try it one more time. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm feeling like I can make this thing work. And if I can't, it's okay because you've got so much value already. Okay, let's just see if that works. Okay. Okay, PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Okay, so now we have two PowerPoints. So this must be the old one. Shoot. Oh, hold on. Okay, I forgot how to split the screen. Hold, hold on, guys. Don't worry. Rule number one, you are you are behind the scenes. Talk on it. Oh, there we go. So we're going to move that out the way. You're behind the scenes. Oh, okay. Here, okay. Okay, here's where we showed them how to monetize. Got it. Okay, we did that, 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 that. Um. I'm letting you really be behind the scenes. We're, we're, just one second. This is real. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do, 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 do. Don't play a commercial. I'm not going to play a commercial. Okay, so we ended by talking about how you can use your podcast. We did today is your January 1st. Let's start here. We're almost done. Slide, current view. There we go. I feel better already. <laughs> you guys got to love being behind the scenes. Okay, so let's talk about the 4S formula. Uh, did I tell them to text in? Let me make sure I told you guys to text in. If you haven't texted in, text in. Uh, let me go back here. Okay. Whew. We got a lot going on, ladies and gentlemen. I could have played a commercial. Okay. But I want you to be behind the scenes. I want you to kind of hang out and see that it's not always perfect, right? Now, I could have went and we could have went up here and I could have uh, I could have played a commercial and you would have saw something like, uh, this pop in for a few seconds. I to give me a few seconds to get my thoughts together, but I didn't want to do all that. I want you to kind of be behind the scenes and see that sometimes it's not perfect and see, well, yeah, he does have an iPad going and yeah, he does have a real laptop that has the monitor going over there and and yeah, he, he does have a cord, which I'll show you how to, for your iPad, the cord that you need to use. Uh, I'll, I'll send that and make sure I put that in the gift so you have that, because there's a cord you got to plug into the back of the mini. And yeah, I did tell you this was, this plant's not real. I did do that. Um, and we showed you so many of the other cool stuff on Amazon that we use, but it's still a good prop. I mean, I, I love the prop. I love plants. I love the feeling of color in here. I do. Um, but I want to take a moment, since I've done that, and just take maybe two or three minutes and kind of give you an idea that will also put money in your pocket. This is just a bonus and I'm done. We're in the bonus round. I did say the text. Let me do that one more time. Text the word 
media empire, if this is your moment, this is your time, you know that this is your year. What's up, Sonora? I see you. Terea Vaughn in the house. Good to see you. You guys bring out the all-stars. Y'all really do. Uh, Jasmine, thanks for all your work, by the way. Darlene, Darlene Brown, Jacqueline Adams. Um, if, if I was real, I would put my um, glasses on, like, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, I really can't see that far. Um, but uh, Sophia uh, Everett Smith, Victoria Fox, Cynthia Bob Babu, thanks for joining. Brenna James, you're still here. Cynthia, thank you so much. And all of you who are out there working hard, uh, Charlisa, thank you so much. Cynthia Green, Joyce Parker. I, I can't, I would be going back forever if I did this. Sophia, Brian, thank you so much. Um, now let me go ahead, for those folks that texted in, we'll make sure you get this cool stuff here. And let me go ahead and share one idea and then we're out of here. We're out, we're gone, game over. You guys are rock. Hit the share button one more time so someone else can see this, so we can bless someone else that's out there as well. We'll make a difference in the world. And it is the 4S formula. And the 4S formula is one of our methodologies. It's what we believe in. It's the heart and soul of what we do and what we hold near and dear. And the formula is systems plus strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. Someone jot that down, you know, systems plus strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. And systems are duplicatable. Systems are repeatable. Systems is something that you're able to put in place so your labor is not involved. A system is simply a combination of people, processes, and tools that come together. So I always ask the question, what system do you have for your copywriting? What system do you have for your client attraction funnel? What system do you have to generate revenue in your business? So systems plus strategy, we believe in the evergreen revenue model, which is how do you do something one time and your labor is never involved. So systems plus strategy plus sales. Well, what is sales? What is sales? Sales provides you the resources. So it gives you the revenue. Sales provides you the revenue necessary to purchase the resources to execute the vision you have for yourself, your personal trainer, your chef, the person who takes care of you, your personal assistant, the resources and revenue, the revenue you need for the resources for your, take care of your loved ones, send your kids to a school of their choice, write a check for the community, pay for someone's health insurance. And it also provides the revenue to purchase the resources for the people you were called to service while you're on this planet. And without those resources, you really can't execute the vision. So that's why I always say that systems plus strategy plus sales equals a successful CEO. Well, Shay, what is a successful CEO? Please break that thing down because you keep saying a successful CEO and I kind of remember you as and know you as the brand that I am, which is the happy entrepreneur. But here's what I learned many, many years ago. And it may not apply to you, but if it applies to you, you, you listen in because maybe you know that you can be happy and still be broke. You can be happy and everything's not together. You can be happy and still doing all the work. So you can be a happy entrepreneur, but you don't have to be naive. You can be happy, but you don't believe every day is rainbows, cupcakes, and unicorns. And unicorns. So you can be happy. But when I look on the other side, a successful CEO is different. So Shay, what is a successful CEO? What is a successful CEO? Because I believe that I am a successful CEO. Well, let me go ahead and break that thing down. Where is my whiteboard? Here we go. Well, this is not good. Oh, there we go. Okay. A successful CEO has more cash flow. Someone write down more cash flow. A successful CEO has higher profits. That means they spend less than they make, by the way. Just so you're fully aware, they spend less than they make. And third, a successful CEO has total freedom to do what they want to do, when they want to do it, with whom they want to do it. So when you bring all that together, that is a, a, a successful CEO. So I want you to write down below, I am a successful CEO, hashtag CEO desk. Just look right below the video and put that affirmation. I am a successful CEO. I want more cash flow. 
so I can do the things I want to do. I want higher profits. That means I spend less than I make. And I run an enterprise, but I still have the total freedom to do what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. And that is the definition of a successful CEO. So you're not a grindpreneur. You're not just a workingpreneur. You're not just a solopreneur. You're not a mompreneur, thispreneur, or a happypreneur. When you run an enterprise, you can be both a happypreneur and a successful CEO. You can be a mom and a successful CEO. I can be a dad and a successful CEO. I can be a brother and a successful CEO. You don't have to put me in a box. Just know that I have more cash flow, more profits, and I got freedom to do what I want to do. If that's you, holla at your boy. If you feel what I'm saying as we close out, just look right below the video and say, that's me. I am a successful CEO. Hashtag CEO destiny. When you see someone put, that's me. I am a successful CEO. Hashtag CEO destiny. You hit the like button. You hit the heart button. You, you hit that button that says, I believe in you. You hit the button that says, I'm, I feel you. See, that's what a successful CEO is. I didn't stop by to say all that. I stopped by just to pull the big black curtain and say, make sure you get yourself your own sheet to put behind you. That's what I stopped by that we talked about earlier. I stopped by just to tell you that this plan ain't real. I stopped by to tell you to get yourself a Logitech C920. I stopped by to tell you to make sure that you have the right microphone so you know what to do. I kind of share with you 11 ways to monetize your media empire. I talked about affiliate marketing. I talked about making sure you get sponsors. I talked about courses. I talked about services. See, I said there's some things you can do right now that's going to help you, not today, not tomorrow, but it's going to help you extend your brand, extend your message, and go to an entirely different level. And when you see me with my new co-host, we're going to sit back and holler at your boy. You're going to see a huge, huge difference. So I'm super excited that you're here. I'm glad that you joined in. I'm looking forward to connecting with you. Some of you have already texted in the word media empire to 202-270-1662 to get your free gift to make sure that when you show up, that you're going to get your seven point media checklist, your show playbook, and a customized revenue session with myself. No cost, no charge, no catch. But when you do text the word Media Empire, you got to make sure you text it to 202 270 1662. And you got to make sure you include your first name, your last name, your best contact number, and your email. So when you show up, when you show up, you're not going to just show up, but you are going to show out. You're going to define the concept of your show. You're going to research and determine the audience. And at the end of the day, you're going to step into what you were known that you are here to do. So with that being said, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for being here. It's been so much fun hanging out with you. And you, you can do this. You've got greatness inside you. Most of our folks, they weren't good techies when they started. <laughs> they didn't have an idea what they were doing. But one of the things that we do know is they're able to do it now. So with that being said, close with these final words. And we're done. We're having fun. We're going to close with these final words. Look right below the video and just put, I will build my media empire. I will build my media empire. For everyone you to text me in, we are going to build your media empire. This is your moment. This is your time. And today is your January 1st. Today is your January 1st. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you follow us on Facebook. Make sure you connect with us on social media. Look right below and join us over at CEO Desk Community. We're going to be rocking out. I'm going to be there tomorrow talking about this right here. They ain't getting all this now. <laughs> but I will be talking about the importance of it. I will be talking about how every single one of us, every entrepreneur, needs to be working on building their media empire. And I'm going to talk about that to the day I get my heavenly wings. With that being said, look right below the video and put your number one takeaway, my name, for those folks that are tuning in. My name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. And I promise you from my bottom of my heart, we'll make some good things happen. We connect again next time. Remember, time is long. Life is short. Live in the moment and make it count. Peace, God bless, and I wish you much success. I'm out of here.